What's up, everyone? Brandon JW23 back again for another YouTube video. As of today, has been finally the day. If you go to uh, betaprofiles.com, scroll down, you see that right there. Bam. You go ahead and get the download to iOS 13 and plus iPad OS beta software. That's right, the development beta 2 software. You can enjoy people and rejoice onto it. It's simply easy. Just hit the little download button right there. Wham, bam. Let it load up right there. Wham, bam. And allow. Close it. And you'll say this right here. Go to your settings. Wham. Back out of that. I'll get to that in a second. Wham. And there you go. So, what you need to do, and by the way, this is two different versions you want, you want to do this. You want to do this, if you want to do this on the iPhone, uh, the betaprofiles.com website, you can. Or, you can go straight to, if I could get it right, there you go, top. Do beta.apple.com, hit the iOS after you sign in, whatever. And go all the way down to see, enroll your device, and you enroll your device in... Make sure you back up your data. That's more, that's way, way important. Back up your data first. Please back up your data because this is a beta. And also, talking about ground, once you jump from iOS 12 to iOS 13, you can barely go back unless you actually have the data that's actually required for iOS 12. Point, uh, for all, the, the iOS 12 or iOS 12.4, the veteran beta 5. I'll get to that in a minute. If not, you know, to any other versions of iOS 12. Besides iOS 12.1.23 and 1.4. And 2.2. And 12.2.2, and 12 I think it is. No, it's just 12.3. Yeah, 12.3. Um, and 12.3.3 and 12.3.4. Apparently, yeah, there's another version of 12.3. Anyway, beside the point. Like I said, you want to back up your device first. Make sure you back it up because if you want to go back onto iOS 12, you can. Uh, and then just hit the uh, download profile. Boom. Hit that. And automatically hit you to enroll. Go ahead and close it. Same thing like beta profiles. Bam. Just, it's pretty much the same thing. Hit install. Put in the password that you unlocked your iPhone in. And go ahead and and go from there. But me on the other hand, I am not going to install iOS 13 on this iPhone. Not quite yet, I'm still running iOS 12 point, uh, iOS 12 beta. And go ahead and tell you now, uh, iOS 12.4 development beta 5 has been released as of today. So, if you want to go ahead and download that, if you already got iOS 12 and you don't really care about the jailbreaking scene, then go right ahead to download the new version of iOS 12.4 Development Beta 5. That's if you want to. If you don't want to, you want to continue staying on iOS 12.1.1, iOS 12.0, iOS 12.2, and even iOS 12.1.3 and 12.1.4 or .4. Or iOS 12.2 and want to stay in the original old software and go ahead and wait for the jailbreak to come out for it, stay there. Please just stay there. If you own iOS 12, all the way to 12.2, uh, yeah, I think it's 12.2 is the last one, or 12.2, no, 12.1.2 is the last one for the jailbreaking, you can stay there. Or you go ahead, hop over to iOS 13, go through the betas, and then turn back around. Go ahead and uh, wait till the iOS 13 jailbreak because if you don't if you don't already know, iOS 13 point development beta one has already been jailbroken. Literally, it's already been jailbroken. So it's just a matter of time now until iOS 13 be the uh, uh, go release version come out and everything be jailbroken and we could have all the same CDA tweaks. Technically. Uh, stylo, Skylo, however you want to say it, tweaks, but same thing. Anyway, so that's that. So, um, I always talked about iOS 12.4, November Beta 5. I always talked about the new iOS 12. Point, uh, iOS 13 development beta profile is already out. Now, now, here's the thing that I want to say ahead of time. 
do I recommend of downloading and installing iOS 12, uh, iOS 13 beta to your current iPhone devices? Honestly, no. That's my opinion right now because iOS 13 that I'm running on my iPhone 10 and also on my iPad Pro is still buggy. It's buggy as heck. Like, it's hella buggy. Some stuff has been on out and some stuff is kind of weird. Like right now, and if you go to phone calls, if you go down to voicemail from iOS 12, you actually get, um, you know, your your icons, your original icons. But for some other reason, I'm thinking this is a bug. I don't know for sure, but on my iOS 13, on iPhone 10, it shows favorites. I think if I remember correctly, uh, recent calls, contacts. And uh, uh, keyboard, the keypad, I mean, voicemail is no way up to be seen. And that's a little bit weird. So, I don't know how that works, but it's right there. And it's a little bit weird. Uh, I can't actually show you on this right here since it's on iOS 12, but it's on iOS 13. Um, technically, I'll be, I, I be right back. I'm going to show you on iOS 13 and see what I'm, and show you okay, what I'm guys, talking guys, I am back. Like I said before, down here at the bottom, that's the only thing I'm seeing. These four. It's supposed to be five, but it's only four. This is on iOS 13, the Veteran Beta 2. So, I don't know what's going on. This may be a bug, but like I said, if you want it on your daily devices, you can. Make sure you back it up. If you don't want to uh, do it, if you uh, just want to just try it and see how it is, go right ahead and you can downgrade back to iOS 13, I mean iOS 12, but you won't be on the current version that you're waiting for a jailbreak. You'll be on a newer version like 12.3.2, uh, I think it is right now, 12.1 uh, or 12.3.1, I think. I don't know for sure because this is on 13, my iPad is on 13, and my iPhone, 12, uh, iPhone 7 is on 12.4 development beta about to be in development uh, development beta 5 so i don't know i don't remember what is the current software right now but again sorry uh whoops i'm just pushing numbers but again uh that's it that's the uh information i'm telling y'all about now if you want to join into hours 13 and get dark mode and all the good little jazz and stuff that's on here cool if not then you know it's 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 what not it's whatever so uh this is just information i'm giving it i'm passing on to y'all again if you want to go right ahead if you don't that's cool don't have to worry about it but uh you know so far right now i'm glad that apple finally released the uh beta profile for it because we're supposed to be waiting until july to get it but they go ahead and like hey you know what since it's one week before july let's go ahead and surprise everybody like saying, happy 4th of July to everybody, boom, here you go. Merry early Christmas, happy 4th of July. You get the iOS 13 beta profile off top. Um, so that's pretty much it, man. If y'all like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, go ahead, thumb down, doesn't really matter. Uh, share with your friends, subscribe for more. And uh, by the way, also, sorry for the last video uh, for showing off saying the iOS 13 um beta 2 came out development beta 2 i mean came out it had it was a bug issue with development beta 1 for hours 13 so if video be showing like you know uh long ways like this it was i mean landscape it was actually showing landscape but this way for some other reason do not know why but you know that's that i was editing and i was doing the new editing and the new photos and editing and I was 13, so it's still a little buggy. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Y'all take care. Stay tuned to the next one. And yeah, later.